Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Octopus 2.0 or Blooming Octopus Bow in two colors like this. I like these looks and it's such a versatile bow. You can do just about anything with it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump in and get started. This is with 7 8 inch ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I've already got my little squares. I'm going to show you real quick how I do that. We're just going to fold it over. We want it as long this way as the ribbon is wide. So I just fold it over, slide it out, and heat seal and get my little crease to get my square. So for this one, you're going to need two pieces of one color and two pieces of another color. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in and get started. I'm going to start with my purple one. So for this one, my little square is going to be to my left. I'm going to fold down. And then I'm going to twist this down. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to twist this part down so it looks like this. And this twists up just like that. And then we're going to take this back one and we're going to twist it up behind. Like that. And then I'm going to throw some stitches. Most important to remember when you're stitching through, it doesn't really matter how many, but I like to only do, let's see, one, two, three, four, is that your last one is coming up from the top. So just like that. I'm going to snip off this little extra. Alright, now I'm going to go to my pink one. And now my square is going to be to my right this time. So I'm going to fold it down. And I'm going to twist this down like this. And then I'm going to twist this up like that. And then I'm going to turn it. And take this one and twist it up behind it. I'm going to hold everything in place. Make sure all my edges are all lined up. That is one of the most important parts. Is that your edges are lined up. If they're not lined up, it won't come out right and it'll look a little funky. So now I'm just going to go through. Just like that. And I'm going to pull it. And I'm going to pull it tight. So we have this. I'm gonna pull it and I'm going to hold it in my hand. Then I'm going to take my needle and feed it through all my layers. And then I'm going to pull it tight. So we have this look. Now that I got that, I'm just going to throw a knot or two. Gonna snip this off. And this is just for me. I'm just gonna flatten this part off. You can do this if you find it helpful like I do, and it, but it's not an important step. I'm going to put that off to the side. Okay, now to ensure that I have one color on top and one color on the bottom, this time I'm going to start with the pink one. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to go... So my square is to my left. So I'm going to fold down. I'm going to twist down. And I'm going to twist up. Now I'm going to take this and twist this up. I'm just lining everything up, making sure all my edges are all in line. And I'm going to throw my stitches. Yep, and my knot wasn't good enough on that. We're going to have to do that again. 
Let's try that one again. Alrighty, so once again, fold down, twist down, twist up. And twist this one up. Through we go. And let's step off the little extra. So now the purple one, little square to our right. We fold down, twist down, twist up. And then we twist up. Put my stitches through, making sure everything stays in line. Like that. And now we just pull it tight. I'm just feeding through all my layers. Pull it tight. Throw in a knot or two. Okay, now I'm just going to flatten out again. So, so now when I meet them up, I have one color on top and one color on the bottom. Let's put a little bit of glue. And hold it in place. So remember, you want to get this two color look with one color on top and one color on the bottom. You have to start with the opposite color you started with the first side. So like this side I started with my purple and this side I started with my pink. So that when I flip them, my colors line up exactly where I want them. Just holding it in place so it adheres. And it stays glued together. So now I'm just going to wrap the center. You start on the back side. This is your front. This is your back. A little bit of glue right there. And then I hold that in place for a second. And I just start wrapping it around. I like to wrap mine twice. I think it makes a better, tighter center. I like my centers pretty tight. So, then we snip, seal, and glue. There we go. Then I just primp and put my loops back because when we're wrapping the center around, we kind of smush our loops a little bit. And just like that. And there we go. Two color Octopus 2.0. Just kind of just putting everything right where I want it and then I'll go spray them and make them stiff. So, 
As always, I will put the measurements in the description below, along with the link to my Facebook page where you guys can connect with me, request a video, show me pictures of stuff you might have made using my videos, and all of that good stuff. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy crafting!